Morning, morning. Trevor Bernard here, president of the Small Ruminants Association of Jamaica. I'm here just looking at some of the animals and, you know, checking up on them. I haven't checked up on them for a few days now. And this is one of the female kids. She's here on this chair today, just chilling out. Um, looking very nice. But, you know, sometimes we have to inspect these animals. If you look, sometimes, you know, in these areas like this, I'm here looking, you know, you have some unusual areas. This ram goat is coming here as I'm troubling children. I have to be, check them. Sometimes they get a cut or, you know, a bruiser somewhere and then you'll get fly strikes. Now, just on inspecting these, you have to hold the animals and inspect them properly. Make sure that they are okay, but come on, hold this for me, Ivana. Hold the back leg, one of the back legs. These kids have gotten so big that, you know, I don't think the children can manage them anymore. I'll hold one foot. Yeah, hold one foot, just one foot alone. So, I see this. This is not the goat. I see this area. Are you, are you seeing it? And it has a funny smell. And I'm going to deal with it. Come on, hold this leg for me like this. Let go that foot. Hold this foot like this. Hold it strong. <laughs> She's so strong. But if you see that, it has a possibility of having an infection. So I'm going to spray it with some ectoline just to make sure that Get away. there's no fly strike. If you look, the flies like these areas and You can let her go. So it is burning now. So there is some flesh or something there. As you can see, I just spray it, making sure that the fly don't trouble. But the younger ram, you notice that he also has a problem. So let us look at this problem. You have to inspect these animals. If you can see the, the, the breasts on these animals are coming down, they have a little drainage on the vaginal area, which is normal, meaning that they'll soon be kidding down. If you see all of them looking, what? Um, very, very, you know. So look at this ram. We noticed this this morning. I came here, and he has a cut under his chest. What? Nobody saw this. This was just by accident. I was here playing with this ram and I saw this cut on his chest. And it, it looked like it probably is getting infected. Maybe it have a fly strike. Look inside of it. It is actually a hole. And we didn't see it. Um, I like the lines right there. Hold, hold the leg. Hold the leg for me. Hold the leg. Hold down the leg. Anyone. Just hold the two of them. Hold it down low. Watch there. Smells stink. It smells stink, yes. And the hole is very deep. And we didn't see this. Nobody saw this. So we are going to treat him now. Um, let us clean off the area. We're going to just wash off some of the dirt. We and we're going to, to spray it and check it. Here. Yes. So come, let's deal with it now. Come. Bring him, come. Daddy, don't get 
Let's not eat. That's what Nathan do. Yeah, but they can't make it look choke. Come. He's getting kind of strong. Mm. Hey, I'll help. He just slap her over there. Push him, push him from behind. From behind? Push him on the ping pong. He's choking. You see the rope is not tight? No, it's because it's 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 in a pin. I'm gonna take the water and wash off the foot first. So come let's go by the pipe. Push him, push him. Push him up to the gate, dude. <coughs> Alright, that's good enough. to lean him over and just wash off the dirt and Lucy's in there all right guys guys come let's do this deal with this now we're gonna put him on this side you ready hold the foot Come hold this foot, sir, and hold that top foot, sir. Hold it. Yeah. Don't let him go. Don't let him. Hold the foot. Hold the foot. Just hold it. He can't do anything. You don't even have teeth. <laughs> More. All right, I need somebody to hold his leg. Need to move him, probably. Mm. Ah. 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 His mother's coming no. right on the lead. But Clean daddy up. can wet. Ah. 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 Look on it now. Maggot's still there. Lynn, but it, it, you don't see it. It, 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 um, it clean. It clean. It maggot there. But it's clean. No, but you can use the spray to move the maggot. Hold the rope. Someone step on the rope. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. Push him. Go. This dog got a hole in his chest. Because he could take a wash over here. Yeah, we can't show him on the dirt on it though. Um, anymore not. No, because I'm holding all of these. Stuff. Put that down then. Guys, here what happened now? You guys are going to have to hold them for me. It's the two of you. 
One of you hold the front foot, Nate, and you hold the two back foot. Agree? Mm -hmm. One foot for Two, two, two for you. Two for you and two for you. Agree? Okay. All right. So, so we go. So we have a deal. Hold, hold him strong. So I'm gonna turn him over. You don't make him move. Him there, right? So I will turn him over, and you guys deal with it after. Agree? Yes, Daddy. All right. Let's go. So Daddy is gonna do this. Hold the front foot, Nathan. Hold the two back foot. You hold the two front foot, Nirvana. <laughs> hold the thing like a strong guy. Move your face out of the way. Come, hold it. Hold the two of them. Mind your face. Lin, you have to come help you know, because I don't think they can manage this. Put your two hands on the it. other side. This is really very bad. Look at the amount of eggs inside here. All right, you can't ready? He's going to really jump now. Hey! That, that ain't the other foot, the two hands. I can't put hole in him. So All right, come. Out, you, you make the video. All right. I can barely even you see You need Vanna to help you too. Mm -mm. Make sure that everything's showing on it. Look inside the hole. Hold this foot, Vanna. Hold this foot, Vanna. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. Hold the two foot. No, I need it up. You need to hold the foot up in the, the two foot. Other one, give me the other foot. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No! That's a lot of eggs. Show everything inside. Near. Go near. You can look inside of this wound. It's really very bad. Go more, Nathan. Move away from it now. Move away. Everything gets spray. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Don't let him go. Where's the paintbrush, Nirvana? Pass the paintbrush. Let me just make sure this. I can barely even see the eggs. Oh, because you can't. Take the camera. Take the phone. Here. Here. Take the phone then. Let him go. Let him go. So, as you can see, I put some of the echoline inside the wound. I also put some wound powder. I like to put the wound powder. And, um, and, and, and that will take care of it. One of the things is that yesterday I noticed when I was feeding the animals, he did not run to the feeding. So we have to pay attention to this. They don't, they tend to not run to the feeding. Or you see, they're acting very strange. Withdrawn. Withdrawn, yes. They looked very, he looked withdrawn yesterday. And uh, this is the results. When we so we him, have to treat him every day with this. Yeah, we have to treat him every day and inspect it every day. Until it gets better? Until it gets better. Just like what the... the fly, fly strikes in Jamaica is really a very, 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 very bad problem. The amount of eggs that were in there. Yes, all of it is out now. And no more maggot is in there. And that excellent spray is going to kill everything. And the eggs so, will start... So it's bur burning right now? It burns, yes. It burns the animal when you treat it. That's why he cried. But it will be all right now. Just like when you get medicine, it burns. Um, he's going to feel a little better because the maggots won't follow him anymore. And in a couple of days, it will heal and we'll continue to treat it. Come this way. Let's. So this is his sister. 
this is going to be a very traumatic thing for him. But this is one of the reasons why in, in goat rearing, you have to inspect your animals every day. You have to pay attention to every single one of the animals in the herd. You have to look at them and any animal that you see starting to behave very strange and behaving, you know, isolating themselves, you have to inspect that animal because something is wrong. Something is definitely wrong. And I'm glad we caught it at this time. We should have caught it sooner, but he'll be all right. He certainly will be all right because we are now going to check it. And if you notice his sister right in the corner of our legs, we also just spray some spray on that. Make sure that they don't get hurt. You see, that's one of the things with intensive farming. When you're intensively farming the animals, you don't get a lot of cut and bruises like this. But when you are grazing or you have the animals outdoor with sticks and, you know, they are fed in sticks and they are just outdoor. Sometimes a sharp stick can scratch them and the flies certainly will attack any cut that comes on that animal. So or maybe glass. It could be glass, it could be anything. Anything out there in the field when you're grazing animals or when you let them out, they tend to get cuts, bruises, anything like this, and fly strike is a very, very, an infection and, you know, will also come into play. So, thanks for watching this small video. I just want you to understand that goat rearing or animal rearing in general, you have to pay close attention to the animals at all times. And anytime you see any withdrawal syndrome, symptoms, you need to check on it right away and make sure you know what is wrong and deal with the matter. Thanks for watching and please continue to subscribe to my channel. Good day.